Now at 8, a near solar eclipse is set to visit Wisconsin this Monday. What you need to know if you plan to check it out. But first, it'll be an overall great day to be outside. We got 50s in the forecast. Jacob will have the full forecast coming up. And then later, one of the highest Powerball jackpots ever is set to happen later tonight. We have that and more all coming up here on Weekend Mornings. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kyle Pazorski. It is Saturday, April 6th. Actor and comedian Paul Rudd turns 55 today. Let's begin by taking a look outside this morning with Jacob Montesano for what the day will be like. Jacob, earlier this week we had snow. Today we have pretty clear skies. And then Monday, some clouds for the eclipse. I mean... It's clear April's here, right? <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a much more normal April week. Today will probably be the best day of the week, but we don't have any more snow in the forecast, and we may not have any snow in the forecast until the fall time. So here's a look at the current condition. 33 degrees right now. We are seeing plenty of sun, and we also are seeing calm winds, and that's going to be the forecast for a lot of today. Looking at the current temperatures, mostly in the lower 30s. A few locations in the central portion of the state are still in the 20s. 20s, but temperature wise, it was a pretty normal morning for this time of year, maybe slightly below average, but overall not too uh, not too bad. Look at the winds. As I mentioned, we are seeing calm winds and for the most part, we're going to continue to see calm winds could get a little bit breezy for you folks in La Crosse, but the far southern portion of Wisconsin will remain pretty light in the wind department today and looking at the full forecast La Crosse will see high temperatures in the middle 50s with plenty of sunshine. Winds will max out at around 13 14 miles per hour, so maybe a little bit breezy, but not as breezy for Madison. Once again, plenty of sun, highs in the lower 50s. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather because Sunday, unfortunately, won't be quite as nice. And here's a look at the forecast across our area today. Again, pretty much no cloud cover and temperatures will reach the 50s. But like I said, we are going to see some rain Sunday and I'll take you through the forecast on that coming up a little bit later. All right, Jacob, thank you. We'll check back in just a bit. Now our top stories here at 8, we begin in Iowa County where a daycare worker will spend several years in prison. This after pleading guilty to child neglect charges earlier this year. Friday, a judge gave a 23 year sentence to Joanna Ford. 11 of those years will be in prison and the other 12 will be in extended supervision. The charges stem from the death of Wyatt Hamlin. According to a criminal complaint, Hamlin was dropped off for daycare at Ford's home in February of 2022. Hamlin was later taken to the hospital where a CT scan showed swelling in the baby's brain. Hamlin later died four days after. In the Cooley region, a billboard is spreading a powerful message about the realities of fentanyl. On Friday, families affected gathered in front of the billboard in Viroqua, which displays the images of loved ones who lost their lives to fentanyl overdoses. The Amara Rose Foundation created the billboard through various fundraising efforts. I don't want other families to have to go through what we have. I don't want kids to die. And we have to make people aware that it's in our community and it happens. The group's hope is to stop fentanyl use in its tracks. To learn more about the Amara Rose Foundation and their fight against the fentanyl epidemic, just visit amararosefoundation.org. Well, mark your calendars because time is closing in for you to file your 2023 taxes. The IRS is spending a rather sending a strong reminder that meeting your tax deadlines is crucial. This year you have until April 15th, which is just over a week from now to file your return. If you owe and fail to file by the due date, the IRS will issue a 5% penalty for each month you're late. And if you file an extension by April 15th, you will have until October 15th to file your taxes. You will still be able to send those returns to the IRS electronically or by mail. Come Monday, Wisconsin will see its first near total eclipse in 70 years. But how much can you actually see? Armand Rahman shines some light and ways you can experience the big event. If you want to experience the eclipse, you might just have to do something like this because clouds will cover much of the country on Monday. I don't have good news. News 3 Now Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington and the First Warn Weather team have begun looking at visibility across the country on Monday. Where you see all of this red, this is really where there's going to be cloudy conditions, so poor visibility. But less than two hours south, Milwaukee, Kenosha, and parts of northern Illinois are looking clearer at this point. If you want to know how things will look in your neighborhood, you can type your zip code into NASA's free online eclipse explorer. I'm a Middleton resident, 53562, hit enter, 
And there we go. It breaks things down. Temperature, precipitation chances. Wisconsin will see 87% totality, or 87% of the sun covered. If you're going to step outside, it'll kind of have kind of an eerie look because it will be darker. Even though you might not be able to see the eclipse, remember, the light from the sun is going to be dimmed overall. But don't let the possibility of clouds give you... A total eclipse of the heart. Just... Turn around to the Astronomy Club at UW-Madison. In Wisconsin, we won't get another eclipse this good until 2099. At their eclipse activities Monday, they'll see through the clouds. Through the radio telescope, which is right behind me, um, we can observe in radio light uh, in any weather because radio waves tra travel through clouds. They're also providing free protective glasses and at Union South and Duratskeller, you can learn about the history of eclipses, the evolution of the science and the superstitions. For many years, people took eclipses as being horrible omens and some of the things happening at our indoor sites will be looking at those histories and of course watching the live streams from NASA. So wherever you are Monday afternoon around two, get outside. Don't let a little cloud cover eclipse a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Reporting in Madison, Armand Rahman, News 3 Now. Armand, thank you. Also happening on Monday, President Biden will be back in Wisconsin, this time here in Madison. There's few details about his visit so far. We may be getting a bit on what he'll talk about, though. The Associated Press says President Biden will announce his latest effort on student loan relief for new categories for borrowers. While President Biden is expected to detail the plan Monday, the actual federal regulations outlining who could qualify to get their student loan debt reduced or eliminated are not expected to be released at that time. Stocks rallied Friday with the Dow closing more than 300 points higher, but despite the day's gains, all three indexes ended the week in red. This as investors digested the new jobs report, the Labor Department reported over 300,000 jobs were added last month, which is 100,000 more than expected. However, investors are torn between a stronger U.S. economy and their concerns as to when the Fed will begin to cut interest rates. Here's a closer look at Friday's numbers. Again, the Dow closing the week up 307. The Nasdaq gains just shy of 200, and the S&P 500 adds 57. Now some more local news. Two people have been arrested in connection with an attempted homicide in downtown Madison. Madison police say Kevin and Nicole Brown were arrested Thursday in Chicago. Kevin Brown is charged with first degree intentional attempted homicide and possession of a firearm by an out of state felon. Nicole Brown is charged with harboring or aiding a felon. The charges stem from a March 24th shooting in downtown Madison, in which police said a man was shot in what was considered to be a targeted act of violence. The victim was treated for his injuries at a local hospital. A day of celebrations turns to morning. That's what organizers sit outside of Tammy Baldwin's office displayed Friday. The Madison Rafa Sister City Project set out a vigil for the children killed in the conflict in Gaza. At the vigil, members display baby clothes to represent the children killed in the conflict since October 7th. They chose Senator Tammy Baldwin's office because of her connection to children, having previously been called a champion for children in 2023. I know that Tammy Baldwin is a champion of, of children's rights here in the U.S., and we would like her to, um, to translate that to children around the world, especially Palestinian children. The project also presented a list of demands to Baldwin, calling for a permanent ceasefire, amongst other things. And across the state, a life sentence was handed down Friday in Waukesha County for the woman who killed her friend using eye drops. Jessica Kurshevsky was accused of killing Lynn Heron five years ago. Prosecutors say she gave Heron a lethal dose of toxic chemical found in over-the-counter eye drops. A key part of the trial focused on evidence showing Kershevsky had researched the effects of that chemical online. Kershevsky spoke for nearly two hours before yesterday's sentencing, maintaining her innocence and insisting Heron died by suicide. So I may be going to prison for now, but I will be okay. I will not be alone, and this is not the end of my story. I will continue fighting for Lynn's truth, and mine. Thank you very much for your time today. Her sentence includes the possibility of extended supervision after she serves 30 years. Well, you still have time to get your Powerball lottery ticket. Tonight is the drawing for the estimated $1.3 billion jackpot. After no tickets matched all six numbers on in Wednesday night's drawing, the jackpot jumped from $1,090,000 to its current value. 
The lucky winner of this jackpot will be able to choose from an annual payment or take a lump sum estimated at more than $600 million. And this is the fourth largest jackpot in Powerball history. Well, time now is 8.09. Still ahead, we take a look at some golfing tips from Joel Weitz at the Vitans Golf Academy. And let's take a live look outside this morning. Here's the state capitol. Jacob will have your full forecast just ahead on weekend mornings. The first warm weather team takes you beyond the barometer, only on News 3 Now. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to gardenmats.com. There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or preventive only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dad, are you certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love. Printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. Kelly needs new floors. I need new floors. So she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Nice one, Kelly. <laughs> LL Flooring, every step covered. A truck crash can be life changing. If you've been injured, call Groover Law Offices. We have a powerful team with the knowledge, resources, and history of results you'll need. Groover Law Offices, one call, that's all. We can all help fight climate change and battle rising food costs. With garden mats, we can all eliminate trips to the store and grow our own organic vegetables right in our backyard. Go to gardenmats.com. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's a look at the three things you need to know to get you ready for the weekend. We are going to see some pretty comfortable temperatures today, but unfortunately for Sunday, we are going to see some rain and windy conditions. Now for the rest of next week, we have a few smaller chances of rain, but after Sunday, we aren't expecting to see a lot of precipitation. At least we aren't very confident that we will see a lot of precipitation. So today, very nice weather, sunny skies, highs in the lower 50s. We also aren't going to see a lot of wind, so the temperatures may feel a bit warmer than what they actually are. But unfortunately for tomorrow, temperatures will be cooler and we're going to see some rain. We'll have highs in at the middle 40s. So let me show you that rainfall forecast dry today. And then as we get to the overnight hours, much of the night will remain dry, but we are going to see some of that rain move into our area late tonight into tomorrow morning. The best chance of rain will be during the morning hours, but as we get to the afternoon, a lot of that kind of will start to push off to the north. So Far southern Wisconsin may see some of that rain clear out rather early, but for those of you in La Crosse, especially Eau Claire, rain will last a little bit longer. And also for those of you near Eau Claire, wouldn't surprise me if you folks see a little bit of snow mixed in, but from La Crosse and everywhere south, we will only see rainfall. Then as we get towards Monday, more rain is expected, especially for Eau Claire, but Madison and areas south will likely remain dry. And as for 2 o'clock on Monday, where the eclipse will uh, take place. It looks like we're going to see cloudy skies from Madison on north, but clear skies are expected to the south. So if you want to be for sure to not see the cloud cover during the eclipse, 
best chance will be for Janesville and even further south around Illinois. That, that's where the uh, most sunshine will occur. But unfortunately, as you get closer to where the act, the total eclipse will take place, there's going to be more cloud cover in southern Illinois. But talking more about the rain, we are going to see fairly dry conditions for Monday and Tuesday. We do have a small chance of precipitation, but we're not expected to see much. In general, the chances of precipitation after tomorrow will be pretty small. Wednesday and Thursday do appear to be the best chances of that precipitation, but right now we are aren't expecting a whole lot. Now we also are going to see some windy conditions during this uh, rainfall tomorrow. So calm today. Overnight the winds will pick up and then they're going to be pretty breezy tomorrow um, during the morning and afternoon. We could possibly be seeing wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour at times. Maybe not quite as windy as what we had earlier in the week, but still windy nonetheless. A little bit better overnight, but still breezy and also a little bit better for Monday. And as we get in towards Tuesday, the winds are going to calm down significantly. So here's a full look at the 7 to 10 day forecast. The best news about next week, though, is temperatures are going to be much more comfortable and more consistently comfortable as we're going to have highs in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And for the most part, we're not going to see a ton of precipitation. Like I mentioned, the best chance will be Wednesday and Thursday. Looking at next weekend, first weekend of the farmer's market, it's also looking very nice with 60s in the forecast, possibly some rain though next Sunday. All right, Jacob, thank you. Now let's take a look outside again, and this time up north in La Crosse. Hello to everyone joining us up there. Like Jacob said, the snow is gone, and nice temps are here for at least today as we wrap up this first week here in April. And if you plan to head outside anytime soon or looking to better your golf game as spring moves on, the George Vitans Golf Academy is providing some tips to help you lower your score. Here's Joel White showing us the proper posture to use during your swing. Today, let's talk about posture, which is such an important element of a more consistent golf swing. Let's talk about how that should look. If you and I were speaking together, we have our chin away from our body, fairly straight position. And that is the kind of position we want to take as we get into the posture of the golf swing. So I'll stay fairly straight. I'll move my hips back. And now I still have that somewhat of a straight spine angle, not my head or chin buried against my chest. So my arms are hanging from the shoulders. I have about a hand width or two between my arms and my body. Let's look at another way to get to that position. OK, here I am standing, gentle flex in the knees. And now I'll just move my hips back, keeping my body fairly straight here. Arms are hanging from the shoulders, and I get back to that same position where I'm about a hand length or two between my hands and body. Improve your play the fundamental way. Some awesome tips there. Anyway, uh, Disney is revealing some new details about its $60 billion expansion. A Walt Disney World site official says the project will include a new 14-acre area within the Magic Kingdom, calling it the largest expansion ever for the park. Disney's plans come as competitor Universal Orlando Resort prepares to open a third theme park next year. But as Disney World expands its Magic Kingdom, Disney Plus is cracking down on password sharing. The streaming platform will start to curb password sharing in some countries beginning in June and it's part of Disney's efforts to boost signups and revenue as the streaming service continues to lose money. In some other entertainment news, Gene Simmons says while it is the end of the touring road for KISS, the sky's the limit for the band's future. KISS sold their catalog, brand name, and IP to Pop House Entertainment this week. While some have viewed it as a way for the band to soak up as much money as they can, Simmons is assuring fans it's really more of a collaboration. Now. It's like there's a booster rocket underneath us with Pop House taking us to places just like Star Trek to go where no man has gone before. Simmons says Kiss is in constant communication with Pop House to make sure it all goes well. The two parties have previously collaborated to reveal digitized avatars of the musicians at their final show. Well, now Google is changing how it tracks users following a 2023 lawsuit. Jared Hill has that story, an important recall in this Ion Consumer Report. More than 2 million Black & Decker Easy Garment steamers are being recalled after dozens of people say they were burned by hot water spewing out. More than 80 people have reported burn injuries. If you have one of these steamers, contact Empower Brands for a full refund. 
Dynamic pricing is coming to JetBlue. The airline will charge for checked bags based on when and where you travel. So expect to pay more if you're flying at a busy time or internationally. A bag during peak hours on most flights can cost $50. JetBlue is offering flyers $10 off if they pay for their luggage at least 24 hours before check-in. And Google will destroy a bunch of data as part of a December settlement in a lawsuit that accused the tech giant of tracking users even while browsing in incognito mode. That service is supposed to keep customers' online activity private. According to a court filing, the settlement is valued at over $5 billion. Those are some of the week's top consumer stories. I'm Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. All right, and coming up, Jacob will check in with today's forecast. Plus, there are several new shows and movies to check out this weekend. Will Ober shares his picks and three things to watch when we return. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. People across Wisconsin are enjoying the rewards, stability, and flexibility of a career in healthcare. Why not you? WIS Caregiver Careers can get you started as a certified direct care professional. You'll learn the skills you need to make life better for older adults or people with a disability. All training is free and online, plus earn $500 in bonuses. Start your new career. Sign up today at WISCaregiverCDCP.com. You can feel it when your dream becomes a pursuit. And with Vitiligo, the pursuit for your pigment is no exception. It's time you had a proven choice to help restore what's yours. Opsalura is the first and only FDA-approved prescription treatment for non-segmental vitiligo. Proven to help repigment skin over time. Restoring what's yours is possible with a steroid-free cream that you can apply yourself. Opsalura can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB or hepatitis B or C. Serious lung infections, skin cancer, blood clots, and low blood cell counts occurred with Opsalura. In people taking JAK inhibitors, serious infections, increased risk of death, lymphoma, other cancers, and major cardiovascular events have occurred. The most common side effects were acne and itching where applied. Repigmentation is possible. Ask your dermatologist today about starting or refilling Opsalura. Pursue it. Kelly needs new floors, so she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Step one, find the material that works for you. Had to be houndproof. Step two, browse your style and your budget. Blonde wood, naturally. Step three, pick the right floor at the right price. Step four, I mean floor, enjoy. LL Flooring, every step covered. Right now, save up to 15% on the latest flooring styles. Visit llflooring.com. My husband and I finally agreed that we need a new bathtub and shower, so he went right to work on it. I think he's procrastinating. For a new bathtub or shower, just call 1-800-HANSONS. Installed in as little as one day with optional safety features and a no-leak guarantee. Get 50% off installation or no interest, no payments for two full years. Offer ends soon. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Well, let's take a look a little bit more at the total eclipse that we are about to see. So this is the percentage of the sun eclipsed for each part of the United States. You can see the path of total eclipse going through major cities like Dallas, Cleveland, up in the Northeast and Buffalo. We are going to see around 80%. Now, I talked a little bit about this earlier, but let's take a look at the cloud cover forecast for that time. The red indicates lots of clouds, and unfortunately, it does look like parts of our area will see a lot of cloud cover during that time. But 
but just to the south of us, there is expected to be a lot of sunshine. Now, the other unfortunate part is a lot of the total eclipse path is expected to see cloud cover, with the exception of maybe parts of Indiana. Indianapolis looks to be in the best situation to see uh, the eclipse, but unfortunately, it's not going to be completely sunny, and it is possible that a cloud just happens to roll over the area that you uh, will be seeing it. But for the best view of the eclipse, it looks like just to the south of us, uh, obviously, you won't get the total eclipse in Illinois, but northern Illinois does look to be very sunny during that time. Jacob, thank you. Good advice there to pick out where you're going. All right, there's no shortage of films and shows streaming right now. This morning, our Will Loper shares a few of the best in this week's Three Things to Watch. An hour of television can change everything. Three women and a whippet. Wouldn't have seen that in a BBC studio when I started. <laughs> Newly streaming on Netflix is the film Scoop. The allegations surrounding Jeffrey Epstein include his friend Prince Andrew. Sam, let's start pushing the palace. I want it for us. The high-stakes drama recounts the 2019 BBC interview with Prince Andrew about his friendship with Jeffrey Epstein. Make no mistake, if we don't get the tone right, the story won't be him. It'll be us. Your Royal Highness. Scoop is streaming on Netflix now. They told me that you do one thing and one thing only. You find the missing. Newly streaming on Apple TV Plus is the series Sugar. There's more to you than meets the eye. Is there? You have secrets. Colin Farrell stars in the modern noir as a private detective investigating a disappearance. There's someone keeping an eye on me. She was really scared. Scared of what? The first two episodes of Sugar are streaming on Apple TV Plus now. You are inside the source code. What is the source code? And newly streaming on Max is the 2011 sci-fi film Source Code. Source Code enables you to cross over into another man's identity in the last eight minutes of his life. John. Did I do something? Jake Gyllenhaal stars as a man who must keep reliving the same moments aboard a train in an attempt to stop a bomb from going off. I want to go back in and I want to save all those people on that train first. They are outside the mission. Source code is streaming on Max now. Those are the three things you need to watch, and this is Will Loper for Weekend Mornings. And coming up next, to look at our top morning headlines. Stick with us. This is Weekend Mornings. Save big at Wanaki Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanaki Furniture ETC. This is Kathy. She's about to see her dentist. She's afraid, not because of the drill, but because of the bill, a big bill. But Kathy doesn't need to be afraid, and neither do you. Thanks to affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company, it's easy to get this coverage. Don't believe me? Call or go online for all the details. You could even have this free information kit. This isn't a discount plan or preventive-only coverage. This is real dental insurance. It helps pay for over 400 procedures. That's a lot. I'm talking cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures. Bottom line? You'll have help paying for routine care and expensive major work. But if you want deductibles, forget it. There aren't any. No annual maximum either. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Stop fearing the big bill. Start saving at the dentist. Call now or go to sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Dad, are you certain this is going to work? Nothing to it. Are you for imprint certain? Certainty matters. Like the certainty of 4imprint, your home for high-quality promotional gear, including exclusive items and brands they love, printed perfectly and guaranteed to arrive on time. To wow your clients, nail your next event, or inspire your team, check out 4imprint.com. 4imprint, for certain. 
Parsons knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed. With over 30 years experience and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 50% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1-800-HANSONS. Get it done. Kelly needs new floors. I need new floors. So she went to the flooring experts at LL Flooring, and it was as easy as one, two, three, floor. Nice one, Kelly. <laughs> LL Flooring. Every step covered. Go long. That's a championship lawn. Be ashamed of some weeds. Are you sick and tired of your lawn getting sacked by weeds? Tackle weeds on your home turf with Weed Men. Save big at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Choose an Amish handcrafted sofa from our showroom or let our design experts customize a look for you during the Smith Brothers factory authorized sale. Save big on quality Smith Brothers furniture at Wanakee Furniture ETC. Now at 30, homelessness is on the rise in Wisconsin. We take a look at how it's impacting our communities. Plus, what we know about a homicide investigation that's underway in Beloit after a fatal Friday morning shooting. And today is going to be a very nice one before we have more rainfall for Sunday. I'll have the full forecast coming up. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here on Weekend Mornings this new half hour. Let's send over Jacob Montesano for a look at your Saturday forecast. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Kyle. Today is going to be a very nice one. Certainly one of the better days we've seen this week. No snow in the forecast, and we're not really going to see any wind either. Right now, plenty of sunshine. 33 degrees is the current temperature in Madison. A lot of our area in the lower 30s to upper 20s. Pretty close to the average low for this time of the year. And during the afternoon hours, we'll also be pretty close to the average high. But we also are going to see very calm winds, so the sun sunshine on top of the pretty much no wind we'll see will make the temperatures feel just a little bit warmer. So here's a look at La Crosse's forecast. Maybe a little bit breezy of a condition in La Crosse, but southern Wisconsin will be calm in the wind department. Plenty of sunshine, highs in the 50s. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather because Sunday will not be this nice, unfortunately. And for Madison, once again, lower 50s for highs. Plenty of sunshine. Winds are going to be very calm and the sunshine is going to be for our entire area. And once again, highs in the 50s, maybe 40s if you go closer to the lake. But unfortunately, we are going to see some clouds develop late tonight into tomorrow morning. That will bring some rainfall for your Sunday. I'll talk more in detail about this a little bit later. And unfortunately, we're going to see the winds pick up as well. All right, Jacob, thank you. Pre-pandemic homelessness in Wisconsin was on a steady decline. But now as the pandemic era help is fading away, the number of Wisconsinites without a permanent home are on the rise. Porchlight's emergency men's shelter on Madison's east side is currently averaging about 300 guests per night. Executive Director Carla Thienz says that's more demand than they've ever seen. She attributes the increase to a number of issues. For one, the end of pandemic relief funds for both individuals experiencing homelessness and the organizations like Porchlight that serve them. All of those funds to run the shelter have been these ARPA funds, have been these federal dollars coming in, which are drying up and need to be spent by the end of the year, right? So we are very concerned. We, we certainly cannot ab absorb $2.5 million to run the shelter. She also says a lack of affordable housing in the area continues to be a top issue. The Wisconsin Association representing attorneys to is agreeing to change the definition of diversity to settle a federal lawsuit. A conservative law firm argued the association's internship program unconstitutionally discriminates based on race. The original definition of diversity for the Wisconsin program said the concept includes race, ethnicity, gender, identity and other factors. The new definition simply says it involves including people with differing characteristics, beliefs, experiences, interests, and viewpoints. The State Bar of Wisconsin said that under terms of the settlement, its diversity clerkship program will continue unchanged under the new definition. Police in Beloit are still investigating an overnight homicide. It happened in the 1400 block of Nelson Avenue just after 1.30 Friday morning. Police responded to a call of a gunshot victim later arriving to find that person dead. At this time, no arrests have been made and no motive has been determined. Anyone with information is urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 608-362-7463. 
Millions are still talking about the rare 4.8 magnitude earthquake that hit near New York City yesterday. It shook buildings and surprised residents, but thankfully left little damage. Bradley Blackburn has the latest. From coffee shops to couches and in front of live cameras. Is this an earthquake? Yo! Millions near New York City were unsettled yesterday. By a rare East Coast earthquake. We saw the buildings moving and everything, though. It was kind of scary. At Yankee Stadium, center field bounced during batting practice, and the Statue of Liberty rattled. This is one of the largest earthquakes on the East Coast occur in the last century. The quake hit at 1023 in the morning and was felt throughout the region, from Boston to Philadelphia. You feel that? Officials issued a temporary ground stop at several airports and began checking infrastructure for damage. Experts said the quake wasn't powerful enough to pose a threat to most buildings. The main force, especially for tall buildings in New York, is wind, not earthquake. As long as they last through a windy day, there's no problem if especially a small earthquake like the one today happens. On Broadway, this shop was printing up T-shirts almost as soon as the shaking stopped, declaring, I survived the NYC earthquake. We just thought it would be kind of a joke to put in the window. The epicenter was actually 40 miles from New York City near Reddington, New Jersey. The quake damaged a historic site dating back to the Revolutionary War. In Newark, New Jersey, a handful of homes were evacuated due to structural damage. The USGS says there's a risk of small aftershocks for up to a week. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York. Multiple aftershocks were recorded Friday evening. The USGS says more than 40 million people may have felt the initial quake. Going through cancer treatments can be overwhelming, and the people who have undergone them know it better than anyone. This is Joanne Kumholtz. She is one of those survivors. The former Dane County Deputy Sheriff won her battle with breast cancer nearly 17 years ago and used her experience to give back to the community. She started a nonprofit called Justice for a Cure, which she recently used to send care packages to patients with SSM Health in Monroe. I think a big part of being in law enforcement is you want to help others, you know, and I think as we tire, retire from law enforcement, it's still embedded in me, I want to help others, and it's so important that we do that. And like I say, in a rural community that those people are not maybe, you know, used to those resources and have that available to them, so it's, it's dear to heart. Just a nice get-me-up story on a Saturday morning. Well, if you want to learn more about Justice for a Cure, you can find them online at justiceforacure.org. Well, time is 8.36. Still ahead, we get a preview of this year's Wisconsin Film Festival. Plus, here's today's day in history. Don't make a fuss. Spring into savings at Denver Mattress. You'll shop brands like Sealy and Temper And Parable 2 Foyer's no interest Ship free to you Denver Mattress You can feel it when your dream becomes a pursuit And with Vitiligo, the pursuit for your pigment is no exception It's time you had a proven choice to help restore what's yours Obsolura is the first and only FDA-approved prescription treatment for non-segmental vitiligo Proven to help repigment skin over time. Restoring what's yours is possible with a steroid free cream that you can apply yourself. Opsalora can lower your ability to fight infections, including TB or hepatitis B or C. Serious lung infections, skin cancer, blood clots, and low blood cell counts occurred with Opsalora. In people taking jack inhibitors, serious infections, increased risk of death, lymphoma, other cancers, and major cardiovascular events have occurred. The most common side effects were acne and itching where applied. Repigmentation is possible. Ask your dermatologist today about starting or refilling Opsalora. Pursue it. We've all seen what's happening at our border. President Biden and Senator Baldwin's open border policy has brought more than 10 million illegal immigrants into our country. That's double the population of Wisconsin. Our country was already struggling to provide housing and health care to our citizens. And tragically, we're losing over 100,000 Americans a year to the drugs that pour over our open border. Their policy is wrong. I'm Eric Covdy. I approve this message, and I'll work to fix this problem. If you're 55 and up, T-Mobile has plans built just for you. It's like two lines of unlimited for just 30 bucks a line. 
That's a 45% savings versus Verizon and AT&T. Plus, get one of the latest 5G phones free when you add a line. Experience it all on America's largest and fastest 5G network. So switch to T-Mobile now and get two lines of unlimited for only 30 bucks a line. It's better over here. Don't make a fuss. Spring into, into savings at Denver Mattress. You'll shop brands like Sealy and Temper. And Parable 2. Four years no interest. Ship free to you. Denver Mattress. A young man suffers a fatal asthma attack when his insurance stops covering needed medications. It's affecting lives and it's costing lives. I'll show you how his parents are pushing for change that could help save lives. It might be legal, but it's not right. Monday on News 3 Now at 6. We warn you first. When winter made an April comeback, the first warn weather team kept you on top of the developing winter storm conditions. First with the information you need to be prepared. And stay safe. First warn weather. So ever since that snow and rain we saw earlier in the week, there have been flood warnings in effect for parts of Green and Rock County. Uh, they are for the Rock and Sugar Rivers, simply because those rivers have gotten above the flood stage. And right now, these flood warnings are in effect until further notice. Now, there also is a flood watch for Jefferson, also for the Rock River. This is until 10 a.m. on Monday. And there's also a flood warning up in Dodge County. So there are a few locations that are experiencing above level flood waters right now. Now, next week is severe weather awareness week. And I thought with the flood warning, this is a good time to take you through some tips to stay safe during flooding. So the biggest thing is evacuate if necessary. And the phrase we use is turn around, don't drown. Don't drive into flooded areas and don't play or walk in flooded waters unless you absolutely need to. There could be some damaging materials in the debris around the flood waters and use caution returning to flood damaged buildings. We'll continue to provide more severe weather tips throughout Severe Weather Awareness Week. Good tips. Thank you, Jacob. The Wisconsin Film Festival returns this week with a shift to the east side of the city after years at the Hilldale Mall. Both the Barrymore Theater and the Bartell return as locations, plus a new host, Flick's Brewhouse at the East Town Mall. Photojournalist Christopher Hobbaker gives us a look. Welcome to the Wisconsin Film Festival. If you have your ticket, have your ticket out and you're ready to go. Great to be back here at the Bart's Health Theater. I've always loved having the festival here. My name is Mike King. I'm the artistic director of the festival. <laughs> Last night, we gave out three golden badgers to the winning filmmakers on stage at the Barrymore. Not solid gold, but, you know, they're golden and then uh, had a great screening of Io Capitano, an Oscar-nominated movie from Italy. Yeah, people love being in just like a neighborhood cinema like the Barrymore. It just has this feel that you don't get at you know, a mall cinema like Hilldale, so it just is really great to like feel like you're out among all these different restaurants and shops and you're really in the neighborhood, in Madison itself. In other international news, Bhutan has just become the world's youngest democracy. One of the great things about the festival is that we bring in the filmmakers and connect them directly with the audience, and it's going to be so fun tonight with Koo. It's a dark comedy set in 1918 during the Spanish flu, and it's about a family sheltering on a beautiful Gatsby Estes state. Eat. My own family. Jay, don't be absurd. Very dark movie starring Peter Sarsgaard as uh, a person who takes advantage of a pandemic in order to uh, basically steal the life of a rich person. Ain't no one expecting you to hunt. You're the ideas, man. Right? You leave the bloody business putting food on the table to me. We're not sure what his true agenda is, hmm? and he's charismatic, he's magnetic, he's hysterical and he spearheads a rebellion of all the staff to uh, take over the house. UW and I would say Madison itself has just a great, robust film culture. People here love the opportunity to see these movies, and we're so grateful to share them with them. After, you know, spending years of your life working on something to, to feel the audience's reaction and, and, and feel them connect with your film and talk to them after the screening, and it's a very special experience. The festival continues through Thursday, and you can buy tickets to any of the films at wifilmfest.com.
WPTF.org. Well, time now is 843. Still ahead, Zach will check in with Friday's news and sports. And let's take another live look outside. There's the beautiful Capitol building. Jacob will have a full forecast next on Weekend Mornings. Sponsored by Three Bears Resort, Indoor Water Park and Conference Center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Certain this is gonna work? Nothing to it. For Imprint certain? Certainty matters. For Imprint is your home for promo gear to wow clients and inspire your team. Check out forimprint.com. For Imprint, for certain. Hi, Phil Swift here for Flex Caulk, our high performance hybrid caulk with our new trigger flow nozzle. Flex Caulk is so easy to use. Just push the trigger and you get a perfect bead every time. And when you stop, it stops. There's no running, no dripping, and no mess. Plus, you can adjust the flow, turn it down for pinpoint precision, or crank it up for maximum coverage. Flex Caulk dries fast and is easy to clean. And it also comes in clear. It's perfect for kitchen countertops, sinks, and backsplashes. You can flex caulk indoors and outdoors. And the best part, you don't need a caulking gun. With flex caulk, you have complete control. This advanced hybrid formula is mildew resistant and totally waterproof. Caulk bathroom sinks, tubs, and showers. Or adjust the flow for clean long runs on baseboards or to fill large gaps and holes. Flex caulk is fully paintable and seals out the elements. Plus, it's UV resistant, so you can caulk and seal windows and all types of doors. Ordinary caulks, they shrink and become brittle, but flex caulk expands and contracts and stays completely flexible. Flex caulk is solvent free and virtually odorless so it's safer for you and your family. Plus, it's portable. It won't shrink or crack and last for years. Flex Caulk has incredible adhesion. It even works underwater. And with our Snap and Save cap, you can use it again and again. Forget those ordinary caulks and throw away that caulking gun. Get Flex Caulk with our new Trigger Flow Nozzle. Do you have an idea for an invention, but you don't know what to do next? Call InventHelp. They've been helping inventors for 35 years. Call today for free information. Call 800-550-5543. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Good morning, everybody. Here's one final look at the three things you need to know to get you ready for the weekend. Comfortable weather is expected today, but unfortunately for Sunday, we are going to see some showers and more windy conditions. For next week, though, we have a few other small chances of rain, but right now the best chance of rain does look to be Sunday as we're not expected to see a ton of precipitation for next week after Sunday. So looking at the forecast for today, plenty of sunshine. Highs will be in the middle to lower 50s. Definitely get out and enjoy the weather because with the sun and the little wind, it actually will feel a little bit warmer than the temperatures show. Now, unfortunately, the forecast for tomorrow doesn't look the same. We'll have 40s and rain for a lot of our area. So let me take you through that rainfall forecast. So as we get into the overnight hours, for the most part, we are going to remain dry. Late in the night, though, closer towards tomorrow morning, we are going to see that rain move into our area. Best chance of rain for southern Wisconsin will be during the morning. It is possible that some of the far southern locations of the state see that rain end a bit earlier, kind of in the um, early afternoon hours. But northern counties, and especially up north towards Eau Claire, rain is expected for much of the day. We also could see a mixture of snow for those of you up north in Eau Claire, but from La Crosse and everywhere south, we only will see rainfall. And then as we get towards Monday, more rain is expected for La Crosse and places to the north, but Madison and surrounding areas in the southern portion of the state will actually see mostly dry conditions with just a slight chance of rain. And then for the eclipse time around 2 p.m., it does look like we're going to see clouds for Madison and areas to the north, but south areas especially as you get south towards northern Illinois, it is expected to be sunny. So the best chance to see sunshine during the eclipse for our area does look to be around Janesville, Monroe, and Green and Rock counties. 
but to be even safer, I would suggest going a little further south towards Rockford. Now, unfortunately, as you get closer to the total eclipse area, there will be a little bit more cloud cover in southern Illinois. But going talking more about the rainfall forecast, by the time we get to Tuesday, we are going to see more cloud cover, but not a lot of precipitation. So looking at the precipitation chances over the next seven days, after tomorrow and tomorrow night, it does look like we're going to be if we do if we do see showers, they won't be a, there won't there won't be a lot of rain. Best chance will be Wednesday night through Thursday night. But again, we aren't expecting a ton of precipitation with that system. Now looking at the wind gusts for tomorrow, it is going to be another breezy day. Unfortunately, we'll have wind gusts up to around 40 miles per hour, possibly 45 miles per hour for those of you west of La Crosse. And this will continue through the afternoon hours. And as we get to the overnight hours, it will still be breezy, but a little bit better. And then it will continue to get better as we head towards Monday and Tuesday. Now looking at the full seven to 10 day forecast, here's the good news. Monday through really all of next week after tomorrow, we are going to see high temperatures in the upper 40, upper 50s, excuse me, to lower 60s. So in general, we're going to see more consistent temperatures that are closer to what we normally see for April. In fact, they'll be a little bit above average for this time of the year. And again, our really our only rain chances after Sunday will be Wednesday and Thursday. Could see some rain Sunday, but not going to see a lot of precipitation. Even tomorrow, we're likely only going to see about a quarter of an inch to a half inch. So although we are having a few rain chances, not expecting a lot and temperatures will warm up starting on Monday. The time spring ball is over or that by the time we're midway through August camp, anybody that knows anything that's here is going to know who that guy is because he's declared it himself with his execution. Well, there you have it. The timetable to name Wisconsin's starting quarterback for week one. Now, Phil Longo called it a four-man competition, but a couple practices in the spring ball. It's looking more and more like a two-horse race between Braden Locke and Miami transfer Tyler Van Dyke. Locke knows the offense like the back of his hand, while Van Dyke has the edge when it comes to in-game experience. And when deciding who will be QB1, well, both are ready for some friendly competition. It's really good competition. There's some really good arms in there, uh, smart dudes, and, um, you know, coming in, in here, they accepted me right away. You know, you never know how, how it's going to be with the whole competition thing and, the, you know, friendships, but I think it's, it's gone really well. Any question that he has, I'm willing to answer, and any question that I have, he's willing to answer, and so, you know, we're all on the same team, and we all want to play, and so, you know, it just comes down to you have to control what you can control when you're out there, and, um, you know, you're not going to win the job rooting against somebody else. The banner year continues for Casey O'Brien. Days after being named first team all USCHO, the senior forward added another accolade to her historic season. O'Brien was named the USCHO's player of the year, becoming the fifth Badger to earn the national honor. And her numbers don't lie. She finished second in the nation in points with 73 and first in the country with 50 assists. Speaking of the Wisconsin women's hockey team, Layla Edwards already made history when she became the first black woman to skate for Team USA at a world championship. Well, she added to that scoring not one but two goals on Friday night. Another first in the history books for the Badger forward. Wisconsin softball in New Jersey for their series opener against Rutgers and game one was a good one for Hillary Blomberg. Down a run in the third and the former Verona Wildcat changes that with a big swing. Blomberg sends a three-run bomb to center for her first career blast. Wisconsin goes on to win 5-2 to two the final. Brewers opening up a three-game series with the Mariners. Now they hit three home runs in this one, but it was tied at five in the bottom of the ninth and William Contreras draws a bases loaded walk to walk it off for the crew. Not the prettiest of highlights, but it got the job done. Brewers win 6-5 to five the final. That is the mood watching the Bucks this week. No Giannis for the deer against the Raptors. Dame, though, was back in his little step back, puts them up in the fourth. Now, he finished with a game-high 36, but it wasn't enough because the Raptors always had an answer. R.J. Barrett working hard for two in the paint. Bucks lose their third straight game, 117 to 111. And that's it for Morning Sports. Have a great day. Thanks, Zach. Coming up next, it's official longtime Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak has announced his retirement date. We'll talk about it next. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. 
There's a reason big dental bills often come as a shock. Because sometimes you don't realize what's not covered until you get the bill. That's why affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual is important. It can give you benefits that go beyond what you get from more limited coverage plans. Because no one likes a big dental bill, especially if you're retired or on a fixed income. For a free information kit, call or go online now. This isn't some discount plan or prevented only coverage. This is real dental insurance that helps cover over 350 procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, bridges, root canals, even dentures at any dentist you want. Dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company helps cover preventive care, basic work, and major procedures with no deductibles and no annual maximum. For your free information kit with all the details, call now or visit sendinfokit.com. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Thousands of our heroes face the difficult choice between keeping their heat and power on or facing homelessness. 21,000 Wisconsin veterans are living below the poverty line, many impacted by physical or mental health challenges. Wisconsin loses three veterans to suicide every week. Together, our mission is to provide all struggling Wisconsin veterans with a critical survival safety net that keeps them safely in their homes. You can make a real difference by providing a donation to the Wisconsin Heat and Housing for Heroes Initiative. With 95 cents of every dollar donated, going directly to those right here in your community. Help by visiting www.heatforheroes.org or by calling 1-800-891-9276. That's 800-891-9276. Ordinary is the opposite of beautiful. Beauty drops our jaws, dilates our eyes, and beauty is something we can create right now at Floor & Decor. Introducing Belly's Flowers Seasonal Planter Program. Makes the perfect gift for home or business. Enjoy a unique seasonal planter delivered to your door three times a year. Growing for Madison since 1949. Order now at Belly's Flowers. Mission Unstoppable, Saturday morning at 9. Hey, finally this morning, it's official longtime game show host Pat Sajak's Final Wheel of Fortune episode date has been revealed. The representative for the show has confirmed June 7th, mark it down, June 7th, will mark the end of the 77-year-old's tenure as host. Might have to take the day off in order to watch that. The TV veteran announced last summer after 40 years that season 41 would be his last since Wheel of Fortune's debut on syndication in 1983. Sajak and Vanna White have hosted together this fall, Ryan Seacrest will become the new host, and White will also return after renewing her contract through its 2025-2026 season. Jacob Montesano, that's, I mean, we were talking during the break. Past Ajax, one of those classic TV hosts that you just kind of think about when you think about these kinds of, like, game shows and everything. Yeah, him, uh, we talked about Alex Trebek, uh, you said Bob Barker, some of the best. But I can't believe he's only 77. He, I mean, or sorry. Not only 77. He looks younger than 77 is what I meant to say. Sure. So I, I'm surprised that he uh, is that old. Just, just based on how he looks, he looks really good for his age. I would have to agree. Yeah, so here's a look at the 10-day forecast. Uh, we are going to see sunshine uh, today. Pretty nice weather. Rain and wind for Sunday. And then Monday, we are going to see the temperatures warm up to the lower 60s. And they're going to kind of stay at that level. You know, they could drop closer to the middle 50s for Friday. But... We are going to see, in general, 50s and 60s going forward, so we may have seen the end of the snowfall for the season. Obviously, that may be uh, famous last words, but it doesn't look like we're going to see any, any resemblance of snow going forward, which I'm sure a lot of people are happy about. Thank you, Jacob. Thank you all for watching. We're back here tomorrow morning at 6.30.